hello everyone thanks for coming out here i really do appreciate you all you are really the best thank you for supporting our channel we've got um, the breaking news we have today now is um, a follow-up and update from the one we got yesterday so yesterday it broke out in the news that um, the president mohammed obuhari has appointed himself a new chief of staff the person of um gambari Abola Gambari professor um, is a professor indeed and we heard of his CV yesterday quite a long CV an interesting one so um, um, the, the news reaching us today is that um, he has um, stepped in he has um, um, they've welcomed him into presidency to come on board and then um, to kick off his duty as a chief of staff but you know my people up to now President Mohammed Buhari has not given an official statement that uh, um, this is what's happening but this is the news reaching us at the moment and uh, we'll go straight into the news but before we do please if you haven't yet subscribed to us do click on the subscribe button down below and also do give us a thumbs up hit on the like button just to let us know that you do appreciate um, what we're doing so yes we'll just go straight um into the news gambari arrives presidential villa abuja Professor Ibrahim Gambari has been cited at the presidential villa Abuja. He arrived at about 10.55 a.m. and was welcomed by the State House Permanent Secretary, Mr. Tijani Uma, and some senior presidency directors, the Punch reports. Gambari was screened on arrival for COVID-19, including having his temperature checked and using a hand sanitizer before he was ushered into the main building. It was reported on Tuesday that the former Minister of External Affairs had been appointed as the new Chief of Staff to the President, Major General Mohamed Obuhari, to replace the late Abba Kiari. However, till this moment, there is no official confirmation from the President on his appointment. So my people, he has been welcomed into the villa. He has gone in, he has been ushered in. But uh, um, everyone in Aso Rock, they are so scared of this uh, coronavirus. They checked him, they did the necessary, um, had his um, temperature checked and they uh, ushered him into the building to, to take his place and to do what um, he's there to do. But uh, we, my people, we know that uh, now that he has resumed office, Nigerians have been well aware about all of his activities before now we know in the news today earlier on today we read that news today about um the revelation um show made or bringing to the notice of the general public or reminding i would say reminding the uh, nigerians who this um gambari person is and uh, what is his main purpose of reminding nigerians so we will know what to expect we will sit tight and know what to expect show reminded us that this guy worked with um abacha and the, the tyrant, we know the up to date were still trying to recover loot from uh, uh, Abacha's loot that um, are in um, the US. The most recent one was the uh, about, about 311 billion um, US dollars that um, the United States returned back to Nigerian's government. So, this this um, um, this Gambari guy, we read his CV yesterday, it was quite a, an interesting one on his CV. Someone that schooled abroad. One would think that um, during his um, tenure, while he was serving as the external minister, um, uh, minister of external affairs with um, President Buhari in the military rule, um, things would be different. But that's not the case. Uh, even when he served with um, General um, Abacha, the detector, it wasn't. Um, it was still the same. No changes. So, and right now, that's the person we have as the new chief of staff. So he's been welcomed into the building and he has resumed this morning. He started his role this morning. He's been ushered into the villa. Nigerians, I don't know what we are to expect from this um, very um, gambari at the moment. Right now, we can uh, we, we, we have seen the two sides. We've heard about um, um, all his intellectual. I mean, Nigerians reacted yesterday that um, intelligence doesn't really mean that um, he's going to make a change. That it's not. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for 
the changes that he's going to bring. You can imagine him being a professor. He has master degree in political science and um, uh, internal internal relations in the U.S. in the United um, States. And then um, all of that, one would think that uh, as these people are well read, as they travel abroad, all those changes they see, the kind of things they practice there, those are the things they will bring into the country. But unfortunately, that's not what we get. They feel that um, with the Nigerian, the common Nigerian, she just remember where they are and the level suffer the electricity the blackout suffer the, the roads you know when these people want to travel they don't go on the roads they use the air the, the road is for the common as the roads are so bad the healthcare system nothing to write them about and when they were abroad they went to the healthcare system over there they saw the way everything is functioning but what is the problem to come back here and replicate the same thing you've seen there that is too much to ask for. It's too hard. So right now, him being the new, um, is replacing Abba Kiari as the new chief of staff. I don't know what, um, how he's gonna, how this is gonna play out. How he's gonna, um, really advise President Mohamed Buhari. We know that um, the role of the new, the chief of staff is um, someone that advises the president on matters con con concerning the economy, concerning everything. We remember that it was said that. Um, um, Abba Kiari was a, indeed a de facto president. He was the one actually ruling the country. So are we trying, are they telling us indirectly that we've got a new president now that um, Gambari will be the one calling the shots? We can even remember what happened yesterday when the pressmen, uh, they, they quiz, they questioned Gabashew. All Gabashew could say that uh, he has not had any briefing. You can see what's going on. So even in the presidency, not everyone has access to some information. Gabashew could not even confirm. What a shame. I don't know if they are trying to push him away or what's happening. Or maybe he's not even happy that uh, uh, Gambari is taking the place because what he could say that he's not aware of that. When the, when the whole Nigeria, everyone, the news broke out, everyone heard that um, a new chief of staff is out in the person of um, Gambari. Uh, Gabashew was still saying that um, he has not had any briefing. But I don't know when they are going to brief him. Maybe they don't want him to be aware. I don't know if they've kicked him out. So, but what I'm trying to say here is that uh, we know that um, the, the, the position of this chief of staff is very vital, is very key. And, uh, you know, there's been speculations that um, since uh, Abba Kiari passed away, that Buhari has not been, the, the villa has not been the same because he has been the one calling other shots. So let's hope that right now that, now that a new chief of staff has come, changes will come, we'll see uh, we'll see President Mohamed Buhari more giving more broadcasts and speaking to and addressing Nigerians. We don't know. But what I'm really anticipating and hoping is that as learned as this man is, he will bring all his, uh, his wealth of experience and move the country forward. It would be a shame if he begins to um, uh, um, play the same game or just um, follow, blend in and do continue business as usual with what they've been doing with Nigerians. It will really be a shame and a, a disgrace. I, I mean to him as well, with all due respect, but it will be a shame if he's not able to advise the president on the right path. And I believe that that's what Nigerians are expecting as well. Because see his CV, how many PhDs he schooled in um, United Kingdom, he schooled in the US, and um, he's an alumni of uh, most of these universities in, um, in the United States. Uh, the Hopkins University is there. His name is all over the place. He was even lecturing at a time. And uh, we know all, all of his CV. We don't want to go back into his CV. We read the CV uh, when the news broke out um, yesterday. Someone of his person. So we, we really hope oh, that change will come to our country. And um, he will not stand for corruption. He will be able to tell Buhari the truth. He will be able to advise him well. On the main, I think the main issue that Nigerians even want him to advise Buhari on should be on how to deal with those headsmen. Maybe Buhari doesn't really know what to do. Now that we have a new chief of staff, he's going to point Buhari in the right direction that this and this and this. I'm telling you, headsmen, I don't think headsmen is too difficult for Buhari to, to deal with. He knows, they know what they are doing. But with the um, with the intake of the, the, the appointment of this new chief of staff, we hope now he's in, in, he's in the villa, he has been welcomed in, he has followed all due protocol, everything, all protocol has been observed, he has um, gone in, let's hope that he, don't, that he, doesn't, he doesn't give Nigerians the unexpected. So my people, that's the breaking news, um, 
Gambari has resumed office. He has started um, as the new chief of staff. So people do leave your take, leave your comment down below in the comment section. I want to say thank you once again. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.